In this video, you're going to learn what FAQ schema is and how to add it to your website. First, let's answer the question of what FAQ schema is. Simply put, it's code you wrap around content that tells search engines that it's formatted in a question and answer format. In a nutshell, schema helps search engines better understand the content on your website so they can take that content and display it in different ways. For example, there's this content that you see on many different search queries in Google that says people also ask better known as PAA and it shows a list of questions in question and answer format. So if I want to see the answer to this question, I can click here and I can get the answer and then it will show the link to the website where Google has taken this answer from. So when you add schema to the content on your website, Google's just going to understand it better and it can take it and use it in creative ways like this that will get you more traffic onto your website. And you can easily add this FAQ schema to blog posts to add more depth to those posts or if you have a business page and you want to have some FAQs related towards your industry, it's very simple to add these to your website as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Step one, we need to add an FAQ schema plugin to your website. Now the good news is you might already, and it's highly likely that you already have an FAQ schema plugin on your website, but I'm going to show you a few right now and you can decide which one you want to use. The first option would be if you're SEO plugin on your website, if you have one, already has an FAQ schema Gutenberg block. So I use Rank Math and Rank Math does have an FAQ schema block. Rank Math also happens to be a free SEO plugin. The next option, if you use Gutenberg to build the content in your blog posts or on your website is to use the free Cadence Blocks plugin that has this FAQ schema built in. Now, for those of you that use Elementor, there is a free FAQ schema plugin for Elementor. However, it's not that widely used and I probably wouldn't recommend using this. Instead, check if you use any third party Elementor blocks such as ultimate add-ons for Elementor. And in this case, you can see here, it does include an FAQ schema block for Elementor. I want to give you a little bit of advice. Whatever FAQ schema plugin you use on your website, choose wisely because you're going to be sort of married to it because once you've built content using the one that you've chosen to build out the FAQ schema content on your website, it will be very painful in order to switch later on because when you disable that plugin, it will no longer be formatted with this schema. So just choose wisely. Now on to step two create your FAQ content on your website. Like I said earlier, you can add FAQ content to individual blog posts to get them to rank better and pull in more traffic or on various pages of your website. I'll go ahead and add it to a blog post. So I'm going to go to posts and I'll click on add new. I'll give my blog post the title and now let's use the FAQ schema block found in rank math. I'll click right here. I'll use a backslash and I'll start typing FAQ and here it is FAQ block by rank math. I simply click on it to select the block and here's where I will put the question. Here's where I will enter the answer. And then if I want to add additional FAQs, I can click this option here to add a new FAQ and keep adding them as I need to add them. As you can see, I just added three FAQs that are completely filled out and I can continue adding as many FAQs as I need to. Next, I'll show you how to add FAQ schema using the free cadence blocks. I'll click right here and I'm going to do a backslash and the FAQ schema is actually found in the accordion block for cadence blocks. So I'm going to select the accordion block 
and then I can choose an initial style. The cadence blocks option will give you more styling options than what is found in rank math if that appeals to you. So I'll go ahead and choose this one right here and I can add my title right there and right here I can add the answer. Now with cadence blocks, there is an option that we need to enable to wrap the FAQ schema around this block. So let me go back into the accordion parent item and you can see right here when I click on the navigation, I'll click on accordion and here on the right panel is all the options for the accordion. But when I scroll down to where it says structure settings and I click that, here's an option that says enable FAQ schema. I'll just need to toggle this on and the FAQ schema will automatically be added to the accordion accordion and all of the options that I've added there. And that's it. You've now added FAQ schema to your website. Now you might be asking yourself, and this is a little bonus tip in the video, is how do you find these FAQs that you should be adding into your content? So if you're going to add this to blog posts, which I highly recommend, how do you find what people are asking about the topic you're writing about so that you can make sure that you add that to your blog post. Let me show you a free Chrome web browser extension that you can add to Chrome that will automatically harvest those P AA questions that I showed you earlier in the video. Now this only works with the Chrome web browser and it's a free SEO extension. You don't even have to sign up for an account. It's called SEO Minion. And when you add SEO Minion to your website, it will pull off information of pages that you're on. So what you would do is you would open up Google and do a search term related to the content of whatever blog post you're writing. So for example, here's a query that I have in Google and it's showing the PAA, the people also ask, and the SEO Minion web browser extension will essentially scrape down all of these different questions, a lot of them, and export them into a spreadsheet where you can choose which ones you want to add to your blog post. I covered SEO Minion recently in a video that I made about writing content on your website. I'll put a link to that video in the video description as well as everything that I talked about in this video will also be linked down below in the video description. Thanks for watching this video. Please support the channel by smashing the like button. That's the thumbs up. It'll take you a split second and that's how you can go to support the channel. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.